right now, it's me. Finally, you erased the messages you left on your phone. I know you don't want to hear this, but it's over. You want to get married? I'm a free spirit. Hey, where the club at? You're not a man. You don't smoke. You don't drink. You work all the freaking time. Like, yo, who does that? Then you want to share some phone plans, bank accounts, and bills? You have a cook to take me out to eat. I'm a five-star queen. I like ratchet reality shows and drama in my life. I need a real man, a bad boy in my life. You want to say who does that? Yo, I got to look lit. I'm already fired. It's over. Go sell some drugs, murder something. Stop being a bitch. Fight a nigga for me. You She loved the way I clapped that, man. I'm thinking about all of these, us making out and whatnot. Yo, it's passionate, man. Rough, rugged, and raw. You take a month behind. It's a sleep. I can't even sleep. I can't even sleep. I can't even sleep. It sounded empty here without her, man. It's like stuff is caving in. All of these thoughts, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do about? And I'm sitting here looking at my little Bible. She, she don't look at the Bible like that, but I bet she'll say all of these verses that she look up or, or, or look on the internet and say these verses that she uh see see on these uh other people posting and post that stuff on her social media. This is crazy. Who does this type of stuff? I'm like, who really does this? Like, she literally gonna give me the boot for what? I did nothing. I, I, I did absolutely nothing. Uh, so I, I, I did everything I was supposed to do. I did nothing for her to literally give me the boot. I'm thinking I'm too fly for a woman to give me the boot. I can't believe this woman said it's over. She ain't even a woman. That's that ghetto stuff. She ain't even a woman. She ain't a woman, man. She's she's an animal. She a savage. She won't break up with me like this. This is crazy. Attitude, like who says that with an attitude? With an attitude, not only did she say with an attitude, but then she goes around uh, and say, "It's over with an attitude." That's the, after everything I've done for her. That, that's how, that's that's the only thing she could turn around and come back and say, "It's over." Or on top of saying it's over with an attitude, not not where I could talk to her and say, you know, it's, it's it's hey, you know, um, we can make some changes if you like. But it ain't about her and what she like. It's about us and what I like too. But yet and still, it's all about her because she can mess this whole thing up. Now, if I was to be the one who had broken it up, then oh, I'm all tight to 
everything in the book. Quote everything in the book. Everything under the sun. It's over. That's like saying, let's get a divorce. I'm not in love anymore. Free spirit. That cut me. I mean, that it's over hurt me. Seeing it with an attitude, that really hurt me. But we ain't going to have no marriage. That's like a goal that was set and now it's gone just because she wanted or whoever she messing with wanted it. So whoever she decides she wanted to mess with, she felt it was way better than what she had with me. Or don't even care if it's better than with me. And that's crazy. All of a sudden, she a free spirit. Free spirit. I, I And see, I, I would say she don't even know what a free spirit is, but that's a free spirit is a Jezebel. It's a Jezebel. A free spirit is a Jezebel. And my hood is called a hoe. Where the club at? Where the club at? I give up. Gonna go to the clubs to try to meet dudes. That's like a lunch, just going to club. Like who, who literally, like what woman in a relationship literally would choose going to the club to be in a relationship? Unless you want to go to the club and meet with other dudes and dance all up on other dudes. So you want to be out there getting your your, 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 your booty spanked or uh want that whole sexual fiasco with multiple people. Dating means you basically, uh, for adults, it basically means you sleeping around. Oh, you could go on a date without sleeping around. How many of those going to go through and they literally going to say, yo, I've been paying for drinks and everything. You better give me that ass. You know what I'm saying? It's who's literally going to say, yo, you you messing with these different dudes and people that you know are seeing you, they're going to think that you're a certain father hoe. They're like, yo, I see it with a whole bunch of different dudes. They ain't going to say, oh, she dating? <laughs> or then she's going to be like, she dating a whole lot of people. That's a certified hoe. Then on top of all of this, forget her wanting to go to the club. Because she could go to the club. She could have went to the club with me. She could have went with her girlfriends and saw that nothing out there would have rocked what we have. But I guess she felt everything out there is what she wanted. Yeah, it's all what glitters ain't always diamonds. It could just be glitter. Why, babe? Where the club at? Where the club at? What? Who says that? Where the club at? That ain't the female that I thought I was going to marry, have kids with, do this, that, and the word, build a whole... <laughs> To say that it's over, that basically means if we would have wound up getting married, and if you could just bounce on me now, say we got married and you did all this, and we got a mortgage or whatever, you just got just bounced right up out of it. 
So now the mortgage, everything become bankrupt. The kids, they now the kids done turned into what? Single family households. So not what's popping right now. Especially when the bills are getting higher. The bills force you to do things that you don't want to do. In order to survive. What kind of economy is that, man? Society is wild because it allows for the craziness. She just broke up with me for no legitimate. See, I can't, see, it's, it's it's not me. I can't say I can't point the finger at me. This is all her. When you can have a female tell a man, a woman tell a man, you're not a man. That, who are you to define what and who I am? Ain't that what you call gender bias or whatever? Like you to any and all. First of all, you're the one cheating. You're the one messing around. But you're going to tell me that I... Not only are you being an adulterer, but you're the one labeling me, not a man. Wow. Ain't that the teapot? I must be the kettle, huh? I'm not a man. You know, back in the days in America where there was this slavery, one of the biggest things that they literally, the, the, the slave owners, didn't want the melanated man to be considered a man. Call them all types of animals. Made all types of titles for them to blacklist them. From Negro to black. Eggplant, you name it. And then for her to turn around and say, I'm not a man. Like it's all cool for her to just violate a brother like that. That's foul. But that shows how, what her mom's. Her mother raised her to say and do. That show who her mother is. And her grandmother. I'm not a man, so I must be an animal, huh? What the slave masses back in the days used to say, you're not a you're not a man, you're an animal. You're an animal, you're a you're an ape. You're a so 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 what am I? I'm an ape because you committed adultery and left me. What's the logic in that? This is the stuff that blows my mind. This is the society that I'm living in. crazy thing is I met this woman in the church. I met my woman in the church. But they say, yeah, there's some hypocrites in the church. But that's where I met her, in the church. She says she converted from the mosque to the church. 
So she wasn't even loyal with religions. Because then, see, now I'm thinking, see, you don't think about this stuff while you're in a relationship. But come on, you she went from the mosque to the church. And before the mosque, she said that she was a Catholic and went to Catholic school. So there was no loyalty to spiritualities, religion, let alone brothers that she tried to violate and say they're not even men, they're animals or whatever. This is crazy. Oh, you don't smoke. See, when some people put things into your head, especially when they mean so much to you and you got so much invested in them, you think of every word they say. You might not respond at that moment, but the stuff, it, it pierced through your head. And while it's registering, it just eats you up. You, you know, it, 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 it eating me up, it really pisses me off. Because you got to think about it. You actually have a woman who had an attitude. You was loving her, hugging her, kissing her, treating her like a quote-unquote queen. Which she wanted to be considered grandioso. A queen of What? Not having any morals? Obviously, she didn't think of me as a king, so why the heck would I be sitting there calling her a queen? When I was saying queen, I shouldn't even use it as an actual queen. I should have been saying it as a pet name. Like a man say, oh, here, darling, hey, there, hey, queen. Should have used it as a term of endearment instead of trying to actually put her on a pedestal and look at her uh, with my depiction of what a queen should be or whatever queen she want to say that she is. She wasn't no, you, she was a queen. If she wasn't my woman, I'd have probably said she was more of a drag queen. The way she dragged me around and treated me like I wasn't that dude. Now, did she flat out show me this? Nah. I didn't see not one sign. Not one sign. That's why during the breakup, when she left the message, she said all of this stuff she never told me before nor showed me before. She never had an attitude when talking to me. So, so, so she sounds super ratchet. Then, go and tell me that it's over with the with the little with the little ghetto accent. So now she got an attitude and say it's over. And, and say that there won't be no marriage and we're not married. Wow. These are foundational things that we both agreed that was going to happen. This stuff right here, she just shut it all down. Basically, like she used me for the time being. Free spirit. Free spirit also. So, you know, if I was to call her back and say, well, you want to have an open relationship. Oh, what's wrong with you? You mess with other females. You a cheat. You a cheat. You, I knew it. I knew it. If I say, yo, let's have an orgy with my fellas. Oh, no. See, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I ain't that type of chick. I ain't that type of chick. I don't know what type of hoes you mess with. See, but now, when she break up, she literally say, it's over with a ghetto attitude and say that she's a free spirit, meaning she's a hoe. want to hit a club. Who say, yo, let's hit a club. Let's hit a club. Like there's something at the club waiting for her other than alcohol and a bunch of people who probably sing them, probably not, and just want to get their hands on maybe don't even want that. Just looking for a come up.
I'm not a man, she says. Oh, I'm supposed to say she's not a woman. Nah, at the end of the day, I'm not going to say she's not a woman because at the end of the day, or let me rephrase that again. At the end of the day, she's a woman. I'm not going to sit there and act like a slave master and try to, uh, from back in the days, and try to uh, say that she's a, a not human. She is a human. But she's a really careless, mean, bad, and self-centered human being. And not until reality hit her would she realize just how grimy she are I'm not even going to say is she are wrong for not trying to do right by me I'm just so out of it. I'm not a man. Anything, you got society trying to defile me and violate me. You had everything from slave masters to, you even got uh, local officers trying to violate me as a melanated brother. And just to implant a female that I thought, even at the home front, all the days we spent together, hugging each other, loving each other, you mean the world to me, we're going to be together forever. It was all BS. It was all certified BS. And said it with an attitude. It's over. Oh, she that fed up. It's over. No marriage. Just hard words with a ghetto attitude sound. Where the club at? Where the club at? Yeah, yeah, where the club at? The club? I could throw on some movie and have a start twerking. I could get a stripper pole up in here. We could go to the club together. You want to mess with the club, you could go to the club, and I'll go to the club separately. It together don't work for you. But see, why should I lower my standards just to make you happy with what you want to do? But then, you'll be the first one saying, oh, you brothers, we sisters be lowering our standards to be with you brothers. That's certified BS for the most part. And y'all know it. When y'all in the majority living off of government subsidies, these brothers, they, 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 they dealing with y'all BS for the most part. Not all, but for the most part, dealing with y'all BS. Y'all living off of government subsidies. Y'all ain't even tax abatements and everything. But talking about, oh, I got my own this, I got my own that. Meanwhile, you ain't going to say, oh, I'm independent, I'm independent, I'm independent, independent in, your, in a united state of being. That's crazy. When you live. <laughs> this just, am I thinking too deep into this? But this is, this is really eating me up right now. I think this is one of the hardest breakups I ever had to deal with because at the end of the day, I'm an older individual now. I'm more mature. Now that I have my own place, my own this, that, and the third, you would think that it would be easier. No, it's harder because now you no longer have that comfort assistance. Your partner is gone. It's kind of like uh, with marriage when they say death do you part and your, your, your spouse make you a widow. It's hard. It eats you up. Because you used to being with that person. That person used to so much. The convenience, uh, the comfort, the understanding, the emotional, the trust. The 
the companionship, the conversations. I mean, it's, it, it, it goes on and on. But oh, we're not married. She's a free spirit. Now you want to go out there and run the wild. Like you're the one fucking all of the... You're the one sexing all of these people. And you're not a hoe. So you want to be like a lot of those females who, I, I get it, there's more women than men. So a lot of women are forced to date other women. Or date other Woman, men. Or if they lucky. Well, I ain't going to say lucky. Or decide to take another woman's man. For the time being. But the men getting passed around left and right. The men get penalized for being passed around. Just to feed a lot of women natural nature. They get hit with child support. You name it. Caught the worst womanizers. They got movements for crying out loud. I'm not a man, is what she said. And then. Th <laughs> I'm taking my behind back to sleep. This, 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 this. Man, I gotta get up off this bed. school, but I can't. <sighs> so she says, let me get this straight. I'm not a man. It's over with an attitude. She's a free spirit. She gonna hit the club. And it's not even her birthday. Meaning, you can't go to the club. You could go with me. You could go with your girlfriends. Ain't nothing super special about the club. But you could go, but you want to go to the club to strip? It's crazy. And then she has the nerve to say, I'm not a man. Trying to violate my manhood, but I damn sure pack it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. she know my sex drive is crazy. So, like, did she say this to get under my skin? I ain't into none of that domestic violence. I'm too fly. She know I'm too fly to hit a woman. So I ain't even think about hitting her. Hitting her because she break up with me? Nah, she got to really be dumb to think that I'm going to try to assault her. Stalk her. Picture that. I'm the man. 
I gave her, I gave, as a matter of fact, that's the problem with me. The problem with me is I, I listen to all the religion, and then religion says, uh, don't go for the creme de la creme. Go for somebody who, who's, who's ugly. That's what I was told. Not, you know, ugly, not ugly in spirit, but, you know, the quote unquote ugly ones is usually the sweetest ones. They treat a person nice. So, she, you know, she ain't all that fine anyway. I mean, she was fine enough for me to mess with and break it down to her, but. And, and really, I, I really, I really had wanted to have a future with her. I, I plan. I thought I was living out my future with her. I thought we were living the American dream. I mean, I only get one life. We only get one life here on this earth. And it ain't to be stressed. That stress kills. That that stress is hypertension. And you hear all these ghetto songs. Men doing women bad. That's ghetto songs. I don't hear that in country music and stuff. But I, I'm hearing a lot of that in and this hood music that these millionaire agencies are getting tax write-offs to push out there that grimy message, oh, these men ain't no good. Treat this monolithic group of gods like trash. You got these, you got you got black women sitting here saying, oh, I only mess with white dudes. You got a big, a lot of them. And they say, oh, why do white guys, I mean, why do black guys be with all these different races? Because it, there's two differences. The majority of quote unquote black men, melanated men, right? They know that there's only one race, and that's the human race. So they go beyond color boundary. And a lot of them have been done dirty by these melanated black women. With the whole jail system, all of this stuff that was put upon them, when they did that '90s group, the mad, the mass incarceration, 2.5 million black men were in jail, no licenses, all protection taken away from them, and you think that the sister, the sisters, quote unquote sisters, quote unquote queens, would be supportive? Just a handful of them. No, you had billionaire sisters who did nothing for these men. They let that rock. Not only did they let that rock, they paid for society to pump bad pictures of them on TV. Oh, he a robber. He's a killer. He's this, that, and the third. These melanated men, when you want to clean up crime, all of these politicians would say, you want to clean up crime, lock up black men. Which is crazy. I'm just venting, thinking out loud because I'm like, this is crazy. All I'm going through is a melanated brother. And she turns around and say, I'm not even a man. And for the rest of her life, she's going to consider me as not a man when I did everything I did for her. It did nothing for her to turn around and say, I'm not a man. That's that self-hate. She hate herself because she know that I am doing all this goodness. She knew that she was the lucky one. That's why she hating on me. Boy, bye. Boy, bye. First of all, she want me to look at her as a Ku Klux, one of those, one of those clan members from back in the days of racist uh, individuals who who had a hatred towards African Americans. And the crazy thing is, you had African American people, men, who were actually part of that clan's party. And that hatred party, we call them coons and this, that, and third. But the crazy thing about it is, it's, it just makes no sense, man. There's no logic in their movement. 
boy bop. I'm not a boy. I'm not letting no hillbilly sit there calling me boy. And that's the only, a quote unquote queen calling a melanated man a boy. When they know the connotation of that, or, or saying that we're not men, all of this stuff is racist stuff, slavery stuff. You're not a man. Calling me a boy, boy, bye. And you got the racist hillbillies who finance certain artists when it comes to music and everything else to pump that stuff. And they become billionaires. And these people who can't fight for themselves, these brothers, they're selling it. They got money to pay for cover-ups. My, my little short term on this earth shouldn't be to feel pain even with the one thing I'm supposed to have in this life is a lover who turns around and not be a lover. Who may be an undercover hater So what's a brother? I mean, listen. 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 It's like this. I feel like this, man. I'm not a man because I don't smoke, she says. So she say I'm not a man because I don't smoke. That's crazy. I'm not a man because I don't smoke is what she say. I'm not a man because I don't smoke. First of all, There's no study that smoking is healthy for you in no shape, form, or fashion. There's no facts that shows that it's more good to you than being harmful. That's just like saying, oh, he, he, it's like you having sex unprotected with multiple people and you say, well, the sex is natural. What taints it is the viruses that come from the other people you sexing. Or what you passing around. I just can't. I, I, I can't I can't figure this out. It's, it's, it's really getting to me. It's really getting to me. It's really getting to me. So she breaks up with me. She say that it's over with an attitude. She said, we ain't never going to get married. Never planned on getting married. And what she said, when she knew we both, I told her at any point she wanted to, I would propose to her. And she said, let's just wait. Let's not rush into it. Now she's a free spirit. A free spirit is another way of saying that you're just a Jezebel.
Then she turned around and say, where's the club at? So she's, she's throwing me off because she never been one of these club going type females. Even when I tried to get her to go to the club. I even tried to have little sexual encounters with her in the club. Back wing. But, 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 that's not, that's not, this is, I'm not a man. Who's telling her, if the guys that she's messing with not telling her that, society not telling her that, then it must be her girlfriends. Or the females in her circumference telling her, what's a man and what's not a man? Because I know I'm a man. Maybe she thinks she a man. Maybe she is a man. Well, nah, she ain't a man. Well, who knows in this society? She said, I'm not a man because I don't smoke. My thing about it is, right? I'm not a man because I don't smoke. Smoking ain't for everybody. Smoking, actually, at the end of the day, I'm no big fan of smoking. Something about, you know, maybe I could have been conditioned to saying no to drugs, but smoking ain't me. I don't rock that way. Then she said I'm not a man because I don't drink. So first, first she say I, I'm not a man because I don't smoke. Like that's what's up. So then. You should have let me know that from the get-go because you said you didn't like smoking. Now, all of a sudden, I'm not a man because I don't smoke. Now, you meet, you probably meet a guy and you're attracted to God because you're not with one who smoked. You thinking this is a manly thing because, you know, uh, the grass green on the other side. I guess that, that grass must have been that weed, you know what I mean, that was green on the other side of one of these dudes you was messing with or one of your girlfriend, uh, boyfriends or whatever y'all was hanging out with. And maybe uh, they gave you a couple of, you had secondhand smoking and you smoked some sticky icky. And none got into your head and you just kept on and you done got loose feeling when I don't know what it did to you. But at the end of the day, you probably done did some stuff and didn't tell me that you done did it. But smoking, I'm not a man because I don't smoke. That's crazy. Then turn around and say, I'm not a man because I don't drink. Drink Jesus juice, quote unquote medicine. So let me get this straight. You want to go to a club and be a lush and start drinking. Now, you know, all of the stuff that people put in these drinks, these drinks are not even, uh, these drinks is, is a translucent drug. People going anonymous to try to stop from drinking and smoking. But you're like, oh yeah, let's do this. This is the high life. Let's do this. You done saw a couple of people looking sexy on a dumbass movie. And you think that's what's popping. That's crazy, but you know. To each his own. Don't tell me at the beginning of the relationship. I know people could change, but come on. Smoking? That's smoking and drinking is like an acquired taste. That's not something that you just, oh yeah, you know, I love to smoke, I love to drink. Nah, I pitch it out with a Kodak. That's crazy. And you break up with me and you tell me I'm not a man because I don't smoke and I don't drink. But if I did smoke and drink, that would make me a man? If we had a child, 
Smoking and drinking would be cool, huh? You got a lot of what ifs. You start smoking and drinking, and then the neighbors upstairs start smelling it, then what? Or downstairs or surrounding, then what? You start going to work and that smell is on your clothes, then what? Come to work smelling all drunk, then what? Coming out your pores, the long term effect on the body. For all the people who didn't get killed using it, imagine all the people who did that they not that the that the people who selling is not telling you about. There's so many side effects to all of these quote unquote drugs. Talking about it's healthy, yeah, all of them start out with some type of natural ingredient, but then. Even using too much of a natural ingredient is not good for the body. Too much of anything is not good in this day and age. And now I see too much love for one woman See, I remember when my dad said, you know, um, you might have to mess with a lot of different women. Because if you, you, you we, 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 my, my family. We have big hearts. And see, they turn around and say, all right, if I give my love to one person. And that saturate her. Then what? It's too much loving and emotion and caring. If you if you sprinkle it around, they used to do that at some point. Sprinkle it around, but then you get penalized for it. But then again, you don't get penalized for killing babies. It's your right, but it's not my right to have multiple wives. Killing a baby is your right, and it makes you happy to kill that baby. But having multiple wives satisfy multiple women needs. Making people happy is not a man's right. But killing a baby is her right. And it makes her happy. Even if the father of the child don't agree, nor the father's family, nor that family disagrees, but it's good. I just, in my mind, I just, it's kind of hard to register all of this. She said, I'm not a man because I don't smoke. She say I'm not a man because I don't drink. And well, she come across one of them dudes who drinks. And then at some point she get mature and say, I don't want me a drinker. Because that drinker can't hold on to the job. It affects her mentally. He used to be able to hold his alcohol. Now he have health issues because of his alcohol. But like any other drug, they thought it was fun while doing it. Or they did it because they was addicted to doing it. Stop the cycle. Don't start.
She was happy to say it's over. I still can't get over this. Didn't tell me no marriage. This this just blew my mind. No marriage. Come on, man. Free the free spirit stuff is the stuff that really like free spirit. You basically tell me that you wanted to be a hoe. All this time, oh, I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't do that. Yo, listen. At the end of the day, I should have listened to my father when he said we are all animals slash all mammals. I'm thinking, oh, we're going to be together forever. Forever, ever? Ever, ever? Forever, never. He was born in this world alone. You could want to be together forever, and it sounds good when they tell you that stuff. Think about all them 2.5 million uh, black melanated men who were locked up from that mass, mass incarceration. See how many of the females didn't come visit them. And when they got out of jail and couldn't get a job because of the license, couldn't get a hold of a gun or whatever, you know what they did? They literally looked at them like they was animals. While the police were standing there like they were supermen. With the job, beating now melanated men. Now the melanated man is no no the, 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 the officer is more important than the melanated man. When when they claim that the officer is supposed to be working for the melanated man, that's the one they're locking up. And see. Mass incarceration was a foul thing, but what was more foul is the sisters, unlike back in the days, the sisters did not stick with them. They literally, brothers was like, yo, we getting slaughtered, and, 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 and this is what gets to me. Brothers, is, we and I'm not saying all of us, but the majority of brothers are sitting here, 2.5 million of us, like, hey, we got a society that's against us. Mass incarceration, they locking us up for anything and anything, and they actually doing systemic uh, racism where it's actually making laws against our social norms and even if it's not a law they violating, violating us, charging us with crimes that don't even fit fit the crime or not even a crime uh, these people getting non-violent offense so please, and I'm like yo, at the end of the day while brothers was begging, please, please, please sisters, the system is against us, sisters, the system is against us you know what the sisters were saying for the most part? Stop trying to find a cop out. Stop blaming the white man. What makes you afraid to be black? That's what it's, it's, it's deep, man. It's deep. It's deep. It's deep. With this breakup, this breakup shows me a whole lot of society that needs to be put out there, man. It's, these, these are... I remember one brother, he came to me, and, and, and what's so crazy is his brother was like, yo, I only mess with white girls now that I'm out of jail. I said, white girls? Is, is that even a, a type of racist I'm here in America? He said, yeah, 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 that's an American thing. That's, you know, not the other worlds, I mean, the rest of the world, but that's an American thing. And, you know, I'm like, because I heard some, you know, ghetto chicks say, oh, why do you only mess with black, I mean, black men only mess with white women. Or Asian woman that is seven third. They said because at the end of the day, they dealing with life society in the U.S. They dealing with society, and that's stressful enough. And they gotta go home to unnecessary drama. The one place where they supposed to feel free. Then, with the worry that once they walk outside, they're not going to get, they're going to have to deal with the drama outside, not only inside the home, but if the drama from outside don't kill them, then the drama inside will kill them because she'll be the first one to say, get out the house. Now he's homeless with a jail record. 